my name's Stacey and I'm one of the PTs and group fitness instructors here at World Gym Birkengary. Today I'm going to be running you through a 30 minute ABT class focusing on toning our abs, butts and thighs. Um, I'll give you some options and I ask that you just work within your limitations today within what feels comfortable for you. Uh, shoes are optional on or off. Um, you may wish to grab a mat, a water bottle, a towel, um, even some hand weights if you'd like, or resistance bands if you want to add another element to the class, if you need a bit more today. Um, thank you for joining us, and let's start. All right, we're gonna start off with some squats. So just a body weight squat, chest up, butt drops to knee line. Try and engage the core, drawing the pelvic floor up, keeping that whole midsection engaged. Let's do some step back lunges. Big step back, front thigh parallel. Drive through the heel to activate the glute and quad. Keeping the chest up nice and tall. Opposite hand out for balance, if you need. Then I stop in the center, come to some lateral squats. Feet together, step out. So we're just aiming to warm up the body in preparation for our workout. Coming back, bear crawl. Crawl out, let's add on a push up. Toes or knees and back. Forwards, again, toes or knees. Back, up, let's go two more. So if you only get two done in this time, that's okay. If you can get six, that's okay as well. Let's do a few burpees. So we squat, brace your abs and jump to plank. Squat back and stand. Out of push up if you want, out of jump if you want. All right, warm up is done. We're gonna start down on our mat, coming hands and knees, elbows under shoulders, toes under ankles. Draw that belly button in and up. Now bring the eye gaze to the hands. We're gonna hold here for about 10 more seconds. Option, drop one or both knees. Let's go for about five more. And then we're gonna start walking. Our plank up and down onto our hands. So up, up, down, down, again, and down. I'm going to go five leading with that front hand. This is number four. Trying to keep the hips nice and square. Stop. Now we lead with the back hand. Up, up, down, down. As fast or as slow as you want. Remembering you can drop to your knees at any time. Hold here. We're going to tap that front foot out and in. Back foot out. In again. So we're trying to tap nice and soft like a ninja and not thud. Last one, knees come down, standing up, we're going to do a squat ankle tap. So squat, tap. Coming down to whatever level feels good for you, you might squat to here. You might squat all the way down. Whatever feels good, whatever gets your heart racing. We've got about 20 more seconds. Fast or slow. Option to grab a weight. Keep drawing that belly in. Nice strong core. Couple more. and finish. Make your way down to the floor. We're gonna start 10 star crunches. Arms and legs out wide. We're gonna crunch in and out. In, out. And inhale, exhale. Use that breath. Draw everything in tight and out. In, out, trying to point to all four corners of the room. 
I've lost count. So let's do a few more. Last one. Release. Catch your breath. New move. Cross crawl. Opposite toe tap. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet down, tap, tap. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap, tap, option. One leg at a time. Option, leave the neck down. Do whatever feels good for you and your body. If it's hard, then it's still working. Last one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap, tap. All right. Let's go back to the legs lying down on your side. Hand on the neck, nice and long. Option to grab a weight and stick it on your side. Like this, leg raises up and down. We're going to go for 20 total. So you can go fast or slow. The slower you go, the more it burns. So we're aiming to activate our hip adductors, getting a nice burn down the outside of the leg. Halfway, 10 to go. Should be starting to really burn now. Last one, weight down, back foot down, inner leg up, two. Now really squeeze the inner thigh, working our adductors this time. Using this hand for balance. I'm trying to flex the toes back to really activate that inner thigh muscle. Done, let's flip to the other side and go again. Up and down. It's an option to add as a little or as least weight as you want. You might want to chuck your booty band on. You might want to hold the weight up here. There's no right or wrong. You can add or take anything you like to these moves. Remembering to calm the breath. Last one. Weight down, hand down, inner thigh up and squeeze. It doesn't look like much, but it is actually quite hard. If you're still not feeling it, pull the toes back for a little bit more activation. Two, one. All right, we're going to come into a side plank crunch. It's an option on the knees, hips, or feet. I'll start with the hip option. We're coming up and extend. Crunch and then reach out long. Elbow to knee. New option. Up on the feet if you want to challenge or staying down on the hips. Once you've done your 10, we're going to hold here in a side plank. About 10 seconds. So draw that hip up, reach up tall if you want, and grab a weight if you want. And lower, flipping back to the other side. Coming to your hip, knees or toes. For five, four. So try to really crunch that elbow to the knee or pass the knee if you can. Coming up to your second level, crunching. And then hold. Arm up or down, 
hips, knee, or feet. Keep holding just a little bit longer. Lower down. Coming onto your hands and knees. We're gonna do some glute kickbacks. Knee over the hips. Wrists under shoulders. Knee lifts. Coming up and up. So nice and slow, trying to push through the heel. Optional if you want to use some kind of band or elastic to give yourself some more resistance. Now take a look back to the knees. Try and keep those hips in line above the knee. And try and make sure that your glutes doing all the work. Once you've done your 20, switch, lift, and raise. Keeping the eye gaze between the hands. So if you have a nice, long, neutral spine. Halfway there. Coming down onto your belly, facing whatever side you wish. Eye gaze down, hands and feet, lift. Option to keep the hands down, but if you can, lifting all four. Bring the feet out and tapping your feet. Nice big steady breaths. Activate the glutes. And try and tap your feet while lifting the thighs. Done. Press back. Back on our feet, we have a squat lunge ladder. So I'm just going to move my mat. I'm going to go one squat, two lunges. Two squats, four lunges. So we go squat. Step back lunge is preferable for the knees. But you can lunge forward onto a step the ground if you like, two squats, two pairs of lunges, number two, two, three squats, three pairs of lunges, we're going to try and make our way up to ten, so if you need to pause to finish your ten, feel free to do so, or if you can, keep up, so the aim here is to get you to out of breath. Five. And lunge. If you want more of a challenge here, feel free to jump your lunges or jump your squats. Six, halfway. This half's a bit harder and that's okay. That's what we came for. Big step, big breath. Push through that heel, activate the glute. One of the biggest muscles in the body. Starting to get a bit out of breath now. Seven. Trying to drop the butt to knee line. Great, back to lunges. Seven pairs. Eight. Count them out. Three, four. Grab resistance band if you need. Grab some weights if you want to add a press. Lunges. Just lunge. Or you can add a press as well. The choice is yours. So every time you do this workout, it will get that tiny bit easier. And that's how you can gauge how fit you're getting.
Last one. Number nine. You're getting close now. Three. Oh, that burns. That's nine. Nine pants of lunges. Big step back. Knees track over toes. Chest stays lifted. Opposite hand out for balance. Feel free to grab a couch or whatever's accessible to you. The main thing is, last round, the chest stays lifted. Draw that belly button in and up to engage the entire core, not just the abs. We want to engage, engage your entire midsection. Four, three, two, one. Ten pairs of lunges, who's ready? Let's go. Halfway, you're doing great, almost there. Three more pairs. Done, give your legs a shake. If you fold your mat up, bring it back. Now we're gonna keep our focus. Let's go this way. On, our glute again and our core. So extending your right arm and left leg, reaching out long and tall, making sure that elbow lines up under the shoulder and the knee under your hips. If you feel yourself creeping forward, just draw back and realign. Reach out to two opposite corners of the room with one hand and one foot diagonally. Draw that belly button in, square the hips up, and catch your breath. We're gonna hold here for another five seconds. And then we're going to do 10 crunches, bring your elbow to knee. Crunch, extend, in, extend. Three, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one. Now slow-mo, in, in, out, out. That's one of our second set of five. And in and out. Two more. In, in, out, out. Last one. In, in, out, out. Touch down. Give your shoulders a bit of a shake. Ready for the other side. Left hand out, right leg back. Point the toes, point the fingers. And reaching as far as you can. Making sure ankles under shoulders, knee under hips. Let's extend our diagonal and reach, point, and bring your eye gaze to the floor, about a foot in front of the forehead. Let's go a few more seconds here, and then we'll do our five quick. Knee to elbow. So in and out. In, crunch, really activate the core. Three, keep the hips square. Two, last one, inhale, exhale, five, so in, in, extend, out again. In, really squeeze and reach far. Number three or five, extend, second last, in, out, out, Last one, in, then out. Making your way onto your bottom, facing the front. We're going to try a V-sit. So our aim here is to sit up, to lift one leg, and then switch. Or you can come with me and try and lift both legs. Legs can be straight, or bent. The aim here is to balance on your sit bones. It's pretty tough. 
I always like I'm shaking and it will get better if you want you can grab your feet you can come down do some toe taps let's do 10 so your whole entire abdominal wall should be burning by now two one done all right laying down on your mat we're going to do a bit of a ladder we're going to go for 10 times we're going to crunch and extend and then pike and extend so we're going to go from one through to ten and it's really going to burn so let's start again at one one crunch extend option feet touch down or hover pike extend again crunch extend for two and then pike lower pike lower so we're draw, trying to draw our ribs toward our hips and keep that lower back pressed into the floor three two one crunch to extension four three two one and up three two one last round ten nine eight seven six pike five four three see if you can get your shoulder blades to lift two one feet down catch your breath and then we'll make your way back up to a standing position we've got two variations of this next move we've got a squat with the knee raise so your option is squat knee to elbow squat up or hands behind the head and then you really have to draw that knee up Keep the chest lifted, couple more if you like, you can just stay in a squat, you don't have to do the knee to elbow, if you're ready, if you want more, try a few, and again, so choice one, choice with none, or choice two. Last one, wherever you're at, make your way over to a seat or a wall, coming down for a chest here. So for the option to chuck some plates on your legs to make this a bit harder. I'm going to sit here for about 30 seconds total, I've already done 10. So catch your breath. We're still working, but we're having a rest from all the movement. So this is what we call active recovery. We're recovering, but we are still working and it still burns. Coming up, next move, very similar. This is a yoga move called a chair pose. Feet about hip width apart. Tailbone drops down, hands draw up. Draw that belly in and then a reach. Look to the corner of the room in front of you for a long straight neck. Now, if you've got a booty band, you can place it around here. And then trying to press the knees firmly down. Feel the power through the heels and then a reach up, creating a long straight spine. Draw the shoulder blades back. And stand. Make your way down onto your bottle. We've got two more moves before our stretches. First move, we're gonna do a rope crawl. Draw up. So this is like an oblique crunch. Imagining you're crawling up a rope diagonally. Reaching, trying to lift that shoulder blade off the floor. Reach up tall. If this isn't good for your neck, leave it on the floor. But if you can, reach, reach. Let's take some to the center, up. How tall can you get? 
Can you reach the ceiling? Climb up that rope like a commando. Up, lift the shoulder blade. Try and relax the neck if you can. And done. Relax down, relax the neck. Now make your way back up to your feet. So all of those of you who have booty bands, you can do this with or without one. Just placing the band roughly above the knees. Coming down to a squat position. Going to walk, do our crab walk to the side and back. Or forwards, back, sideways. So whatever direction you want, you just stay low and then move. So we're working our outer thighs, we're working our glutes, we're working our quads, our calves, everything is getting a look in here. And when you've had enough, Simply come back to the middle of your mat or your towel, lose the bend, and make your way onto your bottom. You can keep your shoes on or off for our stretching. I'm going to leave mine on today. And then just turn your mat sideways to face the TV or the iPad or whatever you're watching on today. Coming into a wide-legged seated position. These can be bent or legs straight. Hands down by the knees or the quads. Take a breath and then lift up and over with the right hand. Bring your eye gaze towards your knee. And just relax here. Whatever point feels good for you. So within our stretching, ideally we want to hold for at least 10 seconds to make it beneficial. And there should never be any pain. You should just feel a nice stretch but no agony at all. Take a big breath, fill your lungs up, and then as you exhale, fold down, drawing your chest a little bit closer towards the thigh. Now you might be up here, you might be kissing the ground. There's no right or wrong. It's just what your body needs today. Take a breath, and then switch sides, reaching up and over. Eye gaze low, feeling that nice stretch down the side body. Maybe even in the back of the leg. Taking a couple more breaths here if you want more. Just draw the shoulder blade back a bit and open the chest up. Taking a nice big belly full of breath. Exhale and fold down, chest towards thigh. Neck is relaxed. And just allowing yourself to come down into a nice stretch that feels good. When you're ready, pressing up, hands to the floor. Nice straight back, take a breath, and then tip forward. Keeping the eye gaze about a metre in front for a long straight spine. Holding here, you'll probably feel a nice big stretch in your adductor muscles that we worked a few times today. And then when you're ready, Tuck the chin, release the breath, and just fold down. Relax your neck, let your body just hang, but without any resistance. Just let go, relax. And then in your own time, pushing back up to a seated position, Feet come to the front. Bring your right foot to either your knee or your thigh. Reach your hands up tall, draw the shoulder blades up. Inhale, exhale, and then fold. Coming down again to the point where you feel the stretch. So this may be pretty much vertical, or you may be all the way down. right hand across the left thigh and then take a twist looking over your left shoulder. 
drawing up from the crown of, from the base of the spine through to the crown of the head. And then see if you can look around just a tiny bit more. Release slowly and switch sides. Foot to thigh, reach up, take a breath and fold. Fully relax and surrender. And then make a bit of a connection with your breath. Notice how long it takes to inhale and exhale. Sitting up and then take your twist. Look over the shoulder. Create a long straight spine. And see if you can look around just that tiny bit more. Turn back to face the front and then make your way to a standing position. You're going to stretch out the shoulders and then you are done. So clasp the hands behind the back, draw the shoulders back, draw the shoulder blades together and open the chest, feeling that stretch along the chest and shoulders. Reaching up, interlace the fingers and draw your biceps towards your ears. Really stretching our lats, even though we didn't work them a lot today, we did a little bit. And then reaching to the front, draw the chin in and really stretch out the back. Grab your right foot for a quad stretch. Option, you can put your foot on a couch or something else if you can't reach around and grab. And then switch sides. One more stretch and we are done. Last stretch, glute stretch, grab a wall if you need foot to knee and then we just imagine we're sitting in the chair, the chest is up, if you want more, press the knee down gently so there's a nice activation in the glute and switch, press down, so I'd like to say thank you for joining me today for our 30 minute ABT blast. Um, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to World Gym Burp and Gary channel uh, and check out all the other videos that the other great instructors have to offer. And thank you for tuning in today. Happy days. Thank you.